I think the political and social chaos we are seeing on every side reflects an underlying biologic crisis. The end of the human line. All species are doomed from conception like all individuals. Evolution did not come to a reverent halt with Homo sapiens. We have the technologies to recreate a flawed artifact and to produce improved and variegated models designed for space conditions. Perhaps there is still time. Is this being done or even considered? Back to the church, the home, and the family. Back to the simple American virtues that made this country great and can make this country great again. If I may be allowed a flight of whimsy involving articulate dinosaurs, fellow reptiles, I do not hesitate to tell you that we face grave problems. I do not hesitate to tell you that we have the answer. Size is the answer, increase size. There are those who say size is not the answer. There are those who even propose that we pollute our pure reptilian strain with mammalian amalgamations and crossbreeding. And I say to you that if the only way I could survive was by mating with egg-eating rats, <laughs> then I would choose not to. <laughs> but we will survive. We will increase both in size and in numbers. And we will continue to dominate this planet as we have done for 300 million years. Bigger is better and biggest is best. <laughs> Armored models thump their tails in earth-shaking applause. Herbiferous dens wallow and splash in swamp mud. Carnivores bear their huge fang, dripping streamers of saliva in approval. But a wise old dine turns sadly from the TV and addresses his offspring. Son, it's the end of the line. We are ugly, idiot, bellowing beasts. Some of us are 60 feet long with a brain the size of a walnut. Where can this end? In a natural history museum, our bones gawked at by pimply adolescents. Say, I wonder how big his prick was. Their turn was. Back to the home and the family, back to simple American virtues. Biologically speaking, the one direction you can't go is back. It's the law. Dolphins lived on land at one time. We know that because they have air-breathing lungs. Now that they have returned to the sea, it might be handy to reclaim their lost gills. No glut clump blighty. An evolutionary step that involves biologic alterations is irretrievable. We must now make such a step if we are to survive at all. And it had better be good. I have predicted that the transition from time into space will involve biologic alterations. Such alterations are already manifest. Astronauts stand to lose their bones and teeth in the thermit. If you don't use it, you lose it. 
A skeleton has no function in a weightless state. So what does the end result look like? Well, rather like an opt octopus or a jellyfish. Bo Brummel, the restoration dandy, spent hours every morning putting exactly the right crease into his cravats by lowering his chin just so. Often his valet would carry out armfuls of crumpled linen. Our failures. So we can imagine the cosmic butler carrying out bundles of unworkable monstrosities, our failures.